Welcome back to John Madden Sales. In today's Madden Method video, we're going to go over our feeding process, mixing grain, what grain we use, and why we do what we do. So we're going to start with the tour of the feed room here at John Madden Sales. To start, we have a door that gets shut every night, and that just ensures that if a horse were to get loose, they can't get in here. Also, during the day, sometimes we keep it closed just to cut down on any dust that might settle in here. Over here we have our grain bin. You can see that it closes. We grab it open here. This bin is lined with fiberglass, and this is to ensure that it stays rodent proof. Whatever we put in here, um, if there were any mice, they can't get through this inner lining. And we don't really have a rodent problem here, but every barn uh, has the potential to have mice, so we just want to make sure we cover our bases there. On the other side, we have our shelf and we have our grain bins where we take the bags and we put them into these grain bins. These are aluminum and again, just ensuring that they're rodent proof. They cannot chew through aluminum. So if we keep everything cleaned up and we keep everything contained and rodents can't smell anything or get to anything, then you are less likely to have a rodent problem. So here on our counter, we have our black buckets. Each horse has uh, AM grain black buckets and PM grain black buckets, and we also have night check. Our horses get fed grain three times a day. We try to feed them a little bit less and spread it out over a longer time period instead of two big feedings a day. We do feed some supplements. If any supplements that the horses would get would be on the shelf here, or if it's too big to put on the shelf on the counter, here is Cavalor electrolytes. Any of our horses that are in work get electrolytes in their e evening grain. We also feed to the horses that are competing Hyaluronics as a joint supplement. And in order to give this properly and so it they we ensure that the horses get it and it doesn't end up just as this goo in the bucket we put it into syringes in 15 milliliter doses and the syringe goes in the grain and then we dump the grain in the feed bucket in the stall and squirt the hyaluronics on it and that ensures that the horse gets it so typically one or two people may be responsible here to make grain for all the horses every day. It's kind of a big deal. You wanna make sure that these horses get exactly what they're supposed to get every day. So right now in the winter time, it's me. I'm in here making sure that I mix everything properly, that every horse gets whatever supplement it needs. But if I'm not here for whatever reason and somebody else has to step in and do it, it has to be pretty seamless. So we use these sheets and each horse has its own line. Horse's name goes here. What they get in the morning, as far as grain, goes here. Anything at lunchtime, anything in the evening, and at night check. So this is pretty self-explanatory. And then there's a spot for supplements. If they get supplements in the morning, if they get supplements in the evening. So this should be filled out correctly so anybody could step into the feed room and know what's going on. If any horse is given a medication it gets written on this sheet, whether it was given in the morning or the evening, and what day it was given, and how much, um, because we need this sheet also for billing at the end of the month. So if any horse got a medication that we bill back, or any special supplement, it would always come and go on this sheet, and then every week this sheet is given to the office, and then they can process that for billing. Okay, so with horses that are competing at such a high level. FEI rules are pretty strict. So we're pretty strict in the barn with what we even have in the barn as far as medications, supplements, um, and we are really careful about cross-contamination. So how we give our medications, if we ever were to need to give a medication, we use bottles, whether they're water bottles, Gatorade bottles, uh, these happen to be sweet tea bottles. We make sure that we rinse them very good and then you put whatever medication they get in the bottle with some water, and then that bottle goes into that horse's bucket after the grain is made, and then it gets dumped directly into the horse's feed tub in the stall, and that will prevent you know, this bucket from getting a residue on it and this bucket from getting a residue on it, and then we know that 
that horse was the only one that touched that medication. Obviously, we'd write the horse's name on here too, so there was no confusion. Um, and then that medication would get written on the list and maybe get written with how many days that it was supposed to be given as well. So going into the type of grain that we feed here at John Madden Sales, we use Cavalor grain. Uh, one reason why we use Cavalor grain is that we can get this grain consistently wherever we're competing. So if we're competing in the United States, if we're competing in Europe, if we're competing in Canada, Mexico, it's very accessible for us to get and we don't need to be lugging around, you know, 30 bags of grain everywhere we go and trying to fit that on the horse trailer. So that's one thing that we love about the grain. The other thing that we love about the grain is that the way that they formulate it, we don't have to worry so much about switching the horses over slowly if we have a horse, say, that's a little bit quiet at home and maybe gets a little amped up at the horse show. They have a low stress grain that you can feed at the horse show and feed them maybe something that has a little bit more energy at home and you don't have to worry about taking five days to switch them over from one grain to the next. The way that they do their basic formula, uh, you can just take the horse and feed it one grain at home and then switch it to uh, another one of theirs at the horse show if maybe it needs that little bit of a low stress grain. While Cavalor has quite a few options as far as grain is concerned, we use for our show horses primarily three different grains. So we have uh, Perfomix, we have Pianissimo, and we have Fiber Force. And I pulled these out so you guys can see. Um, horses that are not super hot or kind of more on the normal temperament side, uh, we, we would feed Perfomix and then horses that maybe be a little bit more high stress, maybe a little hotter type, we would feed the Pianissimo, which is that stress control grain that I was talking about. Um, all of our horses get fiber force at every meal and at night check as well. And this is um, a higher fat, very high fiber and low protein grain that's really good for their gut. So they all get this and then um, a little bit of one or the other of those grains. You can see the grains here in the bin. This is the Pianissimo. The thing about Cavalor food that's kind of neat is they put the starch under this process that puts it under high heat and high pressure and it puffs up the grains. And these grains get about eight times the size of a normal grain. And through this process, what happens is that grain becomes much more digestible and the horse is going to absorb more nutrients through that highly digestible grain. So in theory, you should be able to feed about 30% less of this grain because they're digesting it at such a higher rate. Um, this is the fiber force and you can see it's got chopped up hay, extruded fat, some pellets in there, but this would be about primarily what each horse gets and then we would supplement it with one or the other of these depending on their temperament. So as an example of how much one of our horses might get, I've got a horse that's uh, in work, in full work right now, and I have a horse that is here for training that's young. So both horses are gonna get a full scoop of the fiber force, which is about two quarts. You should probably get into the habit of weighing your food. Cavalier food, I'd say, because it's puffed up, uh, weighs a little bit less than some other grains do. It's not as dense. Uh, our one horse, Manny here, holds his weight pretty good, and he's in full work, and I'm going to give him about three quarters a scoop of Performix. And our young horse, just because it can be a little stressful having um, kind of being new into the barn and getting used to being at work and uh, not being in the field anymore. I'm giving her the same amount of grain, but she is getting the Pianissimo, which is the lower stress grain. These two buckets are going to be their 
p.m. feed. I'm going to take some Cavalor electrolytes since they're both in work. Just as a supplement, Cavalor does um, put electrolytes in their food. So when the horses sweat a little bit would be probably the only time that you would really need to supplement electrolytes. Both of these horses are in work enough to need some, so they get some in the evening. And I make sure it's mixed up and we're ready to go. I should also make a mention that Pianissimo, the low stress food, is also good for horses that are maybe not in a lot of work or maybe on layup, resting, uh, just because it is a low starch food. Here at John Madden Sales, we feed New York grown first cut Timothy Hay. We like our horses to have that natural grazing behavior, so we feed them constantly throughout the day. They get hay in the morning when they get fed grain, they get hay uh, after stalls are clean, there's hay in their stall. We put hay at lunchtime, we feed hay at dinner time, at night check, they just get hay all day long. Um, and that's why we like to feed first cut so it's not super rich and you can do that. No alfalfa, no second cut, just New York grown first cut hay. Also like to make a mention that our feed buckets are in the back of the stall. Hi buddy. The reason why we do this is it gives you a chance to again walk through the horse's stall, make sure everything looks normal, see the horse, put your eyes on the horse, and you look at the bucket and make sure that they've eaten their grain from the meal before. That's really important. A lot of farms um, for efficiency have the bucket in the front of the stall and maybe a hole in the bars and you throw the grain through and you just run down the aisle and boom, boom, boom and, and feed grain. It, it's not um, as good in our opinion just because you might not be looking in that bucket. You may not notice something like maybe the horse hasn't drank today or maybe there's no manure in the stall or maybe the horse has a swollen leg. So this is just our way of looking at that horse one more time coming <laughs> coming into the stall to kind of observe that horse again and look in that bucket and make sure that they've eaten their food from the meal before. I also want to make a mention that a clean feed room is a happy feed room. So in order to keep rodents away and keep everything uh, sanitary, make sure you sweep up any grain that you might have spilled on the floor, keep dust under control, keep everything tidy and in order. And that way, if somebody were to have to step in here that hasn't done this before, that things are where they should be and uh, it's easy to find and self-explanatory. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of The Madden Method. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.